This video provides an overview of the clinical evidence to date behind Excite OSA. This patented device, developed by Signifier Medical Technologies, applies neuromuscular electrical stimulation in a novel approach to the tongue and upper airway muscles to address primary snoring and obstructive sleep apnea. While there are diverse medical devices available to mitigate sleep-disordered breathing, they focus primarily on temporarily alleviating the symptoms during sleep. Excite OSA's daytime therapy addresses a key root cause, low muscle endurance, by stimulating the genioglossus and upper airway musculature to address collapsibility during sleep. NMES has been in use for many years in other fields and has been shown to result in a shift from fatigue-prone, fast-twitch muscle fibers to fatigue-resistant, slow-twitch muscle fibers. Functional assessments using Excite OSA showed NMES was associated with a significant improvement in genioglossus endurance. Excite OSA uses an intraoral device that rests directly on the very conductive wet surface of the tongue with a pair of electrodes above and a pair below the tongue. Its effects on snoring, OSA severity and upper airway functional assessments have been documented across three studies. Several years of research have led to a body of peer-reviewed evidence that began with a proof-of-concept study in Essen, Germany, and expands to a multi-center trial conducted in London, Pamplona and Valencia. A physiological study conducted in San Diego provided greater insight into the mechanism of action. In the proof-of-concept study, 13 participants, along with their bed partners, completed a prospective, single-arm trial of Excite OSA to determine the change in their snoring and mild OSA symptoms. The results of this study were published in 2018. The study showed that the mean bed partner reported snoring score reduced by 44% on average, with 70% of bed partners reporting a reduction in snoring of over 30%. Snoring remained stable for the two weeks after stopping the therapy, suggesting a sustained change in muscle physiology. The results of this pilot encouraged further investigation, introducing new measures and expanding the patient cohort. Next, a multi-centre trial was conducted in institutions in the UK and Spain, with the goal of assessing objective and subjective patient outcomes before and after Excite OSA. Participants with primary snoring or mild OSA underwent two home sleep tests at baseline and another two home sleep tests after six weeks. The results of this multi-center trial have been published in the Journal of Clinical Medicine. 90% of the cohort demonstrated some degree of improvement in their snoring above 40 dB. Among the full sample, there was an average reduction of 41% from baseline. This was echoed by reductions over 50% in snoring above 45 dB and 50 dB. Bed partners reported a similar improvement in snoring over the six-week trial which was sustained for the following two weeks after withdrawal of treatment. A subset of 65 participants had mild OSA at baseline. Among these participants, the average apnea hypopnea index, or AHI, was 10.2 events per hour at baseline, which reduced by 33% with six weeks of treatment. 78% of the participants with mild OSA exhibited a reduction in their AHI. Among this subset of 51, the average AHI reduction was 52%. Alongside these improvements in OSA severity, participants reported significantly improved scores on the Epworth Sleepiness Scale and Pittsburgh Sleep Quality Index. In order to examine the mechanism of action, a physiological study was undertaken at the University of California, San Diego. The results of this study have been peer-reviewed and published in Physiological Reports. Participants underwent an in-lab polysomnography before and after using Excite OSA for an average of 31 days. The study showed that Excite OSA was associated with a significant increase in genioglossus endurance, but not genioglossus strength. These findings are consistent with previous studies showing reduced upper airway muscle endurance among patients with OSA compared to those without OSA. In short, Excite OSA provides a compelling new alternative, applying NMES during the day to address a primary root cause of mild OSA and snoring. In summary of the clinical evidence to date, Excite OSA has been tested as a safe, effective therapy, showing consistent results across various participant groups and trial settings. 
Further evidence generation is underway to explore various applications to the therapy.